<clears throat> What's going on guys? Faint here bringing you another Evolve gameplay, multiplayer gameplay. Um, this one's pretty interesting, I like it. I like the ending, you guys have to wait and see, or you guys can actually just skip forward and see it. But it's pretty intense, I almost, uh, I almost lose a match here, literally by like a hairline. Um, so for this gameplay I try to be more sneaky, unlike the other one. Um, I was kind of just running around, leaving footprints all over the place and whatnot. So one technique I use is, what should everybody use, is the actual sneak, is the B, you press B on the controller, and you won't leave any footprints. So by doing that, you can just walk around without a trace, and they won't be able to really track you. Um, that's useful when you're trying to evolve and you want to you wanna eat food without being disturbed. Um, so yeah, you should very you should utilize that. That's one of the key things of this game. Also, you can see I keep the how do I explain it? The view keeps darkening like right there, and he, he like opens up a little like spread view and the animals highlight. That's called the sense ability, and you're able to see you're able to sense any monsters or creatures around you, any humans as well. Um, and that that's used for feeding so you, you know which direction to go or whatnot and it also is it shows you your footprints it's it's able to help you um, it's able to notify you like where your footprints are and what you what you look like to the humans um, one thing I don't know if you guys know this first time playing or whatnot birds are your worst enemy in this game you don't want to disturb the birds at all otherwise the uh, hunters will know where you're at. It'll pop up a little notification on the map and it'll say birds were attracted or whatever 200 meters this way and it'll like lead them that way. And also when those like vultures come down to like spoil your dinner, they, um, they also pop up on the map and, and uh, let the hunters know. So you kind of want to, if, if you ever attract birds or anything like that, you want to leave because they're going to head towards your direction. Um, right now in the gameplay, I just evolved. I noticed that there was a hunter around me, but he was headed the other way, so I wasn't too worried about it. That's why you got to keep spamming that sense button. It's the right analog, you just click it. You just want to keep spamming it. There's no limit to it. That's very useful in knowing your surroundings. So I utilize that all the time. You could see me click it like freaking 200 times during this game. So you just want to keep hitting it, keep hitting it, know who's around you, know what's going on. Um, so I just continue. I try to feed more. I just evolved. You know, I want to build some armor in case I do come in contact with the hunters. You want to be prepared. The blue bar above the red bar is your armor, and the red bar itself is your health. Um, once you lose your health, you don't get any more. You, you can't regenerate it unless you have the perk. You could set certain perks before the game. Unless you have the perk of health regeneration or if you eat a certain creature with a perk equipped to it, then you get that perk as well. Um, those are the only two ways, I believe. Otherwise, once you lose your health, you can't get it back. It doesn't like regenerate over time or anything on its own without the perks. So you want to have your armor because that's like a second barrier so they don't, they don't get to your health right away. Um, so at this point, I noticed the hunters were close to me. So I kind of backtracked. I, I went over my tracks, but I'm sneaking. So it'll show my tracks going up the hill and they'll, they'll believe that I'm over there somewhere that'll kill some time for me as I back up and go back into the lake area or pond area to feed some more. Um, it's useful for using the pond because you, or any type of water, because you're not gonna leave any footprints in there. So you wanna always utilize that if you can when you're trying to get across the distance you could just run straight down the water right run straight down the lake whatever you want to call it water pond whatever the hell it is river that's the proper word river um, so yeah right here I'm just as you can see I I gained one of those perks I was talking about earlier I think it's cooldown reduction 50% which means I can use any of my abilities and when you use your abilities the X Y R B L B on top of the screen it takes at least, I think it's like 10 seconds or something like that for it to for it to regenerate and allow you to use it again. But with the 50% reduction, obviously, it's going to cut that time in half. And I'll be able to use my abilities quicker and chain them better together and uh, damage the hunters. So right here, I'm just finishing up um, 
my evolve. I'm just filling up that bar. The circle that goes around is your, um, you have to fill that up and eat in order to evolve. So once you get that filled, you can evolve. So right here I evolve and I see the hunters are on me. They're already shooting me. So this is taking down my health. My health goes down about two and a half bars before I even start fighting them. So, so that, that doesn't help at all. Starting a, starting a battle like that. Um, so I try to, I try to look for the medic as usual, like I said in the last film. Last film, one of my recorded movies over here. Um, that's in the last gameplay. I try to look for the medic. I fail for a little bit. I eventually get him. He's Lazarus. And Lazarus' ability is to be able to regenerate or revive uh, hunters that are down, whether if they're dead or not, if they're incapacitated or dead, if the body's still there, he can bring them back to life. So that's who I'm trying to take out first. He is probably one of the better um, medics, I would say. He's pretty good. Obviously, if he can bring his, his partners back to life, that's, that's one of the best abilities you can have. So I try to escape here. You know, I'm losing a lot of health. I wasn't really being able to damage anybody too much. But they keep bringing me back with the harpoon. They're holding me down. So I go ahead and just, you know what, if you guys want this battle, I'll give it to you. So I had them all down one little channel. And I used a charge ability, which knocked out about two of them, damaged them. And the fire afterwards, I chained it. I was able to get the medic down. So with that, I just wanted to make sure I killed him and he was done for a couple minutes, you know. He, you cannot come back to the game for like two minutes, I believe it is. So I wanted to make sure he was out. Out for the count, that was it. I didn't want them to bring him back alive, like, to, to revive him. So they still want to continue fighting. I have no health here, pretty much. I have a bar. And I have them down that same channel. Use the charge ability, knock out two more, knock down a lot of health. And I smack the last one. And I just continue, you know, it's do or die here. So I'm just trying to use all my abilities. I hide up here because they're still shooting me. The other guy doesn't know where I'm at. And I go ahead and use my leap smash and smack him dead on. And I think that was a great finish. Um, it was a very intense game for me. I thought I was going to die. I did not think I could pull it off, to be honest. But I don't know. That was, that was one of my best games so far. Well, not one of my best, but one of my closest to dying. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. For those of you that are watching this for like tips, hopefully it helps somewhat. Maybe my rambling just didn't make sense at all. Whatever, it doesn't matter. But I will talk to you guys later. You guys have a good one. Peace.